So a finite population of five elements, so our capital N is five. We are given the data, 10, 10, 12, 18, and 40. How many samples of size four? Therefore, our small n is four. List all possible samples and their corresponding means. And then later on, the additional tayo given. First, first line in action, Natin gawin natin. How many samples of size 4? So, number 1. How many samples? So, we have a formula for that one. N, C, N. So, capital N is 5. Factorial. 4 factorial. 5 minus 4 is just simply 1 factorial. So, for arrange na ako ito, lagay natin sa mismong formula. So, we would have 5 factorial over 4 factorial, 1 factorial, 5 times 4 factorial, factorial times 4, 1 factorial. We cancel it. So, we have 5 we must have five samples. Five samples of size four. So again, we're gonna enumerate all of them. 10, 10, 12, 18. 10, 10, 12, 40. 12, 10, 12, 18, 40. If I'm not mistaken. We have 10, 12, 18, 40 again. So, para hindi tayo manito, I'm just gonna redo it. Kasi nagtataka kayo, sir, ba't umuulit yung 10? So, I'm gonna correspond each sample with a letter. I'm gonna call it A, B, C, D, E. So, of course, I'm gonna have a, B, C, D A, B, C, E A, B, D, E B, C, D, E And A, C, D, E so I'm gonna transcribe it using the numbers itself. So I would have 10, 10, 12, 18, 10, 18, 40. In this case, I have 10 and 10 again. So, I'm going to come a 10, 10, 18, 40. Then, B, C, T, E. B, C, D, E. Let's just see. B, C, D, E. Ang binatan ay 10, 12, 18, 40. 10, 12, 18, 40. So, in this case, we would have to get the averages. So, we would have the following data 10 plus 10 plus 12 plus 18 is 50 
divided by 4 I have 12.5 now I would have 10 plus 10 plus 12 plus 40 divided by 4 I would have 18 10 plus 10 plus 18 plus 40 divided by 4 I have 19.5 so 10 plus 12 plus 18 plus 40 divided by 4 I have 20 and then 20 again so if we're going to have it that is our frequency distribution or standard uh, rather the sampling distribution now I want to check if it satisfies the reality that mu x is it really equal to mu how are we going to get mu x mu x is just you just take all of the means and you take the average of it so in this case 12.5 plus 18 plus 19.5 plus 20 plus 20 divided by 1 2 3 4 5 so in this case we would have 12.5 plus 18 plus 19.5 plus 20 plus 20 then we're going to divide it by 5 so the answer is 18 now to find mu recall not a new formula from midterms we have 10 plus 10 plus 12 plus 18 plus 40 so we're going to try if they are the same so 10 plus 10 plus 12 plus 18 plus 40 we divide it by 5 the answer is also 18 in this case yung 5 them some mu x 8 is the number of samples but yung 5 dito is the number of data in population okay so in this case I would not show you anymore how to compute for the variance of the data So when we talk about variance, it is the variance of the data So in this case, I'm just gonna solve for it mm -hmm. So we have 10 10 12 18 and 40 so stop okay sigma squared is 129.6 I'm gonna make that smaller so when we talk about Sigma it's just a square root of 1 to 9 Point six, which is equal to 
11.384199 But when we talk about sigma square over n I'm just gonna erase this for a while So variance of sampling distribution of the mean medyo mahaba yung pangalan niya it is simply sigma square over n or what we call the sample size so we have 129.16 divided by 4 Sir, bakit 4? Kasi, ang sample size natin ay 4. So, in this case, 129.16 divided by 4 point six rather divided by 4 is actually 32.4 and we talk when we talk about the standard deviation let's put it here standard deviation is or what we call the standard error it would be equal to 11.38 for 199 divided by 4 no, not so in this case mm -hmm. I have this one divided by it would be just 5.690 again the standard error is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution So I hope you have understood this part of the lesson and I hope it would help you answer the questions after. If there are any questions, the discussion area is there so that I could help you. Okay.